It's always so cool to learn something new about the history of Pokemon or see some of the stuff that was unreleased or never used but like the Pokemon company actually created that Game Freak designed but just never actually put in a video game. Well, this leak actually happened a few years ago. So guys, I'm doing a giveaway at 12,000 subscribers for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. So all I have to do to enter the giveaway, is subscribe to the channel, leave a like and comment down below letting me know you want to be in the giveaway and then stay tuned for future videos and then when I hit 12k, I'll announce the giveaway winner. So basically back in 1997, there was like a demo build of Generation 2 or Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver that was supposed to be showed at the Space World Expo of 1997, where many of those things in that expo that were shown, like Pokemon sprites and designs and like even the map just never actually came out. A lot of it did come out and stuff like was real, but for years and years, it was all just like a rumor. Like people just had to go on what other people were claiming, just saying like, yo, I was there and I saw that this sprite was different or this Pokemon never actually came out. You know, people, some people probably doubted it. And then until the summer of 2018, a group, I don't know who did it, hacked the Nintendo servers and got the entire backup of the generation two unreleased demo build, which is crazy. It also makes me think like, what else does Nintendo have or Pokemon have? Like what else, what else is out there that's stored in some random storage device, you know, in a closet or something at Nintendo, you know, there, there's got to be some really cool things out there. So I think right away, like some of these first Pokemon are just so cool to me. I really like Rotora and Katora. I think these are super sick. I wonder if these were supposed to be like the Pikachu of Gen 2 originally, because, you know, that definitely heavily looks like Pikachu has like the cute round, you know, design going on. Um, these are also all colored too. I, I found another sheet that was just black and white, but I thought the colored one looked a lot better. And a lot of these Pokemon actually look really cool, like Warufu. I probably am not pronouncing that right, but that looks like an awesome Pokemon. Rufumon, that looks like it's probably the first evolution of Warufu, if I'm gonna have to guess just by the name and how the how the styles of the Pokemon design is. Apparently there was also a demo ROM released for this by the people that, you know, hacked the servers. And apparently they were also trying to put it into English, but that never came out. So I guess you could also, so I guess you could actually play this out there somewhere on the internet. Um, it's also cool to see like some of the Pokemon that were already, you know, created like Generation 1 uh, or just Pokemon that were in Gen 2 but had different designs. Like some of these Pokemon from Gen 1 look different and these also have the shiny forms as well so generation one didn't have any shinies but generation two did and like look at the shiny bulbasaur and venusaur like, like that's just so cool so here's another huge picture of just a lot a, a ton of pokemon so these are all the original 151 right here you could see the different sprites and their shiny forms which is super cool to me at least i'm pretty sure that this is the regular form and the shiny form according to this website that, that's what they're claiming I just think this is so bizarre and so cool to see because like this is a part of Pokemon history like the early early days of Pokemon where this was their second game that they released so the stakes were definitely really high the stakes were at the very top because Pokemon generation one was a huge hit it was a huge success so you know with generation two they had to hit home you know what I'm saying they had to hit a home run so I don't know if these Pokemon are just in Japanese or if these were the real names I'm gonna assume these were the real names because a couple of these are real Pokemon, like Natsu, Igglybuff, Cleffa, Pichu, but like uh, Chikorita is named Hapa or Hapa. That's crazy. I, I wonder, maybe some of these are in Japanese and some of these are just like the regular, I guess, English form of the name. I don't even know if that's, if that makes sense or not, but like Mikon or Mikon, that looks like a Vulpix almost, kind of represents a Vulpix. I think that's a really sick looking uh, Pokemon actually. But then we got something we already have like Flaffy. Um, Pachime, that is a uh, different spelling. Pichu looks completely different. I'm so glad they did not go with this form or version of Pichu. This does not look like a finished design and I think the, the version of Pichu that we got is perfect. I, I think it matches Pikachu extremely well. And like look at this Pokemon, Animon. That's such like a a plain and simple Pokemon. That's that's crazy. And also, here's a cool one, Palitoad, which was an unreleased Gen 2 Pokemon, but came out in Generation 9. So, if you don't know, uh, sometimes, you know, new generation of Pokemon, uh, they get inspiration from unreleased Pokemon games in the early days to create new modern day Pokemon for the new generation. So this was a really cool one. I remember this being pretty big on the internet when um, Palitoad 
came out in Scarlet and Violet. So I wonder if it was already going to be called Palatode originally in Generation 2. I think that's that's just something just so neat. I don't know, man. It's just stuff like this is so cool. And I really hope that we get to find more stuff like this in the future. I'm sure as people data mine, you know, they're going to find some more stuff. They're going to find some more information. Also, Togepi. I kind of like that version of Togepi with like a yellow egg and then I think the shiny version would be the orange egg. I believe the shiny version is on the bottom of these. Like so all these Pokemon that you see, the shiny would be the bottom and the regular form or version, color, whatever would be the top. Riffy, there's a lot of like dog Pokemon I feel like that were unreleased. I feel like I've seen a lot of like dog, dog or wolf or four-legged animal that resembles a dog type of style a lot here. I don't even know what my favorite would be. I feel like my favorite would probably be like Katora or Ratora, the, the first ones that I brought up. But there are some really cool designs. Igglybuff looks bald. He is a bald baby in this sprite. It's crazy. Natu looks pretty good. Pretty similar to what we actually got. Zatu, pretty similar, exactly. Meryl looks really similar as well. Um, let's see, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to spot some other Pokemon that look the same or look different. Slowking... Looks pretty similar, unknown. We got Barun, which, or Beru Run, Beru Run. That's a cool, dang, I like that Pokemon. He has a bell on his tail. I think that's that's really cool. Let me know if you guys have seen this before. I'm, I'm just curious to see how many of you guys have actually seen this leak before. Like I said, this is pretty old at this point. I just thought it would be cool to kind of bring it up again because I'm sure it's been a while since a lot of you guys have even heard about this or, you know, seen posts about it. I feel like the last time this was probably brought up was about Palatode being in Generation 9. Hinei, I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right either. That is a really cool Pokemon. That kind of looks like a, uh, kind of looks like a man, manta ray, manta ray, bird type of Pokemon. I don't know, man. That's, that's really, really neat. Also, let me know what Pokemon is your favorite that is unreleased or just a different design. I remember Hanugma, Hanugma, I remember this being on the internet a while ago too, like that's a pretty popular, like a fan favorite, unreleased. Actually, you know what, now thinking about it, was that supposed to be one of the starter Pokemon? Oh, you know what, that might, yeah, I think that was supposed to be the starter Pokemon for Gen 2, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure we got the Chikorita Evolution line right here, which did come as Generation 2, and then... I actually, yeah, I think that Hanugma and Karusu were also supposed to be the the other starters, so the fire and the water type. I, that's, that's pretty cool. It'd be cool to see these Pokemon come back. I feel like Karusa design, the, all three of the evolutions of that Pokemon is kind of lame. i kind of glad we didn't get that, honestly, but Hanugma, I think that's a really cool evolution line. I, uh, I would love to see that in a modern day Pokemon game, just kind of brought back somehow. I don't know how they would actually do that. It'd be kind of cool if like one day the Pokemon company or Game Freak, whatever, like when they're when they're to the point where they reach like when they're to the point where they release a lot of games, they could like re-release Generation 2 and then but like put it like give us the unreleased original version with all of the unreleased Pokemon, such as this. Like this would be this these would be the starter Pokemon. All these Pokemon on this list would be in the game rather than what we actually got. I think that'd be kind of cool. They probably would never do that. i I'm not gonna bet on that at all, but yeah, whatever. This was pretty cool to look through. I, I love stuff like this. If you guys have any other like random leaks or just stuff that's been pulled from Nintendo that has been unreleased for Pokemon, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to look at some more of this stuff. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys next time.